When is a song fully original and when is it not? Music has a layered history, so you might not know that a song you love is sampling from a song in the past. Some are obvious, some aren't, but we've got you covered by breaking it down every episode. This is Sample School. For the very first episode of the show, we'll be diving into Hotline Bling by Drake. Singer plus rapper plus Canada equals one of hip hop's most popular artists of the past decade, Drake. Before he became the Jizzy Drake we know today, most people recognize him as Jimmy Brooks from the television series Degrassi, The Next Generation. Drake's career has been pretty busy, releasing over five albums and mixtapes along with receiving 27 Grammy nominations. Drake hit number two on the Billboard with his single Hotline Bling, the bonus track off his latest record, Views. The song can attribute much of its success to its music video, or more so Drake's dance moves within the music video. Yes, the most popular booty call song since Christina Aguilera's Come On Over has generated countless gifs and memes. Awkward salsa dancing aside, no one can deny the song's infectious instrumental, but do you know how he came up with it? Was he inspired by Caribbean music? Music from Super Mario World? Or is it actually sampled from another song? All right, let's break this down. We all know how the song goes. You used to call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my love. But what happens when the pitch and speed are turned down, the bass and snare removed, and Drake is taken out? And I know when that line bling. Any guesses yet? Well, what about when we play it against another song made in 1972? Yup, Hotline Bling does indeed sample a song, and it's the 1972 hit from Timmy Thomas, Why Can't We Live Together? Contrary to a little controversy of Hotline Bling allegedly stealing hip-hop artist Drum's Cha-Cha, which actually samples the Star Road song and features a similar chord progression, the real source is Indiana-born Timothy Thomas. During Timmy Thomas' career working as a singer, keyboardist, and songwriter, Timmy had little solo success until he moved to TK Records in Miami, Florida. Then during the birth year of the digital watch, HBO and Pong, aka 1972, he released the hit Why Can't We Live Together. Why Can't We Live Together sold over 2 million copies and reached number 3 on the Billboard Hot 100 just behind two little known songs called Crocodile Rock and You're So Vain. Drake wasn't the first to sample or repurpose this song. This same song was sampled by leaders of the new school. Ice. And even covered by Mr. MC Hammer himself. If we can't live together, then this world's gonna fall apart. Tell me why. As for what Timmy thinks of Jimmy's sampling of his song, turns out he's over the moon about it being on the radio again through Hotline Bling 42 years later. Today at the age of 71, Timmy is now planning on relaunching his solo career after over 20 years. Drake in turn has praised the sample, which he actually discovered after he heard the Hotline Bling beat. All right, so let's recap. Hotline Bling doesn't sample Mario, but instead samples the 1972 hit, Why Can't We Live Together. Drake wasn't the first to sample the song, and Timmy Thomas is making a music comeback after two decades. Oh, there's the bell. Today's lesson is over. Consider yourself Sample School. Thanks for watching Sample School. I know when I first heard this song, I could not get it out of my head. Did you guys know this sample already? What song should we break down next? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to know more information about sampling, check out the websites in the description. They should help you out a whole lot. I'm Alex Wexler, and from all of us here at FBE, Thanks again for watching.